Okay. Hi. Oh, good morning, Anna. Come on in. Oh, thanks. I hate to bother you this early in the morning. It's right. I've enough for hours. Oh, really? The information you want on Duke Lavery just came in. Here oh, it is. Great. Can you stay while I read it? Oh, sure. Well, some coffee and stuff in the kitchen. No, no, right? thanks. No, thanks. You say you've been up for hours? Yeah. Well, what's the matter? Oh, I don't know. I've just been agonizing over how I'm going to break the news to Robin. What news? About Frisco and Felicia. What? Well, you don't know. They canceled their wedding. Oh, no. Clean hands. Yes, the clean Duke Lavery. Absolutely. You know, that lawyer he hired for Moran, I knew that name was familiar. Yeah. yeah there's definitely a connection. Yeah, more of a connection than that WSB report indicates. Mm. You know, if our Mr. Lavery is as clever as I think he is, he would know that his lawyer had mob connections. If he didn't know, he would be suspicious. Mm, I would think so. Was that Angel Moran is no prize. <laughs> now that's for sure. But then again, there are these people that have this blind loyalty to old friends. Well, Lavery may have blind loyalty to Moran, but does that also include Moran's high-powered lawyer with mob connections? I think I'm going to ask him. Oh? I think I'm going to go over to his office on the way to headquarters. Well, yeah, please. Uh, you know that uh, Lavery doesn't have to tell you a darn thing about his lawyer. Well, you see, our Mr. Lavery rather likes to talk, and I just have this feeling that he'll volunteer rather a lot of information. Well, you know, he will have to volunteer it, because there's no reason for him to tell you anything. Oh, no. Okay, Mommy. <laughs> oh, I hate having to tell her that Felicia's cancelling her wedding. Won't be easy. Good morning, Hi, Francie. Oh, hi, hi, Mommy. Hi. Hi, you shouldn't have let me sleep so late. Mm, I suppose I was just putting off the day as long as I could. But we have to get ready for the wedding. Well, you see, there isn't going to be a wedding. There's been a few problems, and uh, Frisco and Felicia have cancelled their wedding. What are you talking about? Is there anything else you'd like to do today? You know, we could do something that's uh, more fun, if you like. Mommy... Nothing could be more fun than that wedding. Mm -mm. I know, but, um, it's off. No, it's on, because that was Bobby on the phone, and she said it was on. That's what I was going to tell you. It's on? Yes. <gasps> it's on. That's wonderful news. Oh. I just hope my good suit isn't still at the cleaners. Oh, we've got a thousand things to do. We've got to get ready. I've got to do oh your hair. Gosh. Oh, um, we've got to get ready. So, okay. make the How breakfast. Start with breakfast. Okay. And, uh, I'll squeeze the oranges. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and don't cut yourself with a knife, will you? Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to go over to Duke's office, but um, I happen to know that he's going to Felicia's wedding, so maybe I'll talk to him there. Hold real still. Now, as soon as we've finished here, you can go into your bedroom and your dress is all nicely pressed and it's sitting on your bed and you're going to be mm, the prettiest flower girl that there ever was. Um, and do you remember what I told you about the rose petals? You know, that you sort of, you, you just toss them at the people. You don't kind of hurl them in their faces, remember? Yeah. What's the matter? I was just thinking. About what? Chris was going to give Felicia a ring today. Mm-hmm. That's right. With this ring, I be wed. I guess he won't be my godfather anymore. Yes, he will. Once a godfather, always a godfather. He promised me a ring once. I guess he forgot all about it. Well, you know, Frisco's had a lot on his mind lately. But I wager that one of these days he'll remember that he promised you that ring and you'll get a present. Take a look at your hair. See what I've done. What do you think? It's nice. Oh, thank you, Mommy. I love the way you did my hair. And I love that pretty ribbon. Yeah, you should match your dress, you see. Come on, we've got to hurry because we're still in our robes. Got to get ready. Okay. Oh, dear. Hi, I've only got oh, two minutes. Yeah. Well, let me take ten seconds and congratulate you and Felicia. Oh, my God. This is the girl that I want to see. Oh, well, okay. excuse me. I'm just... <laughs> well... Hello. Do you and Felicia still want me to toss the rose petals? There's not going to be a wedding without you. You look awful pretty. Thank you. Uh, got a couple minutes? Sure. Have you got any minutes left? Oh, yeah. Plenty of time. Listen, um, you're the reason I'm here, actually. Uh, Felicia and I were buying our wedding rings the other day, 
And I just picked up a little something special for you while I was at the store. Me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, when you wear this, I just want you to remember how much I love you and how special you are to me. Okay? Oh, a ring. Mommy, look. Oh, well, thank you for school. I oh. love you, too. Oh. oh. Thank you so much. Well, put it on. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I get that... the box. Thank you. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Alicia's a very lucky girl. Come here. Oh. <laughs>